Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and a Sunday video. Do bear in mind, on a Sunday we'll be posting lots of content, including the podcast later on today, but it's going to be a quick overview of Dragon Man. The embargo's lifted, a million Dragon Man videos appear, and what is really to take away from the champion? Well, the champion is pretty funny. He has a really cool ability where he would uh, work with champions or work against champions that would have buffs. The enemy gets buffs, he gets something nice as well. But as, but as well to that, there are some positives for damage output. However, though, if you are expecting something to slay, even with this version being a 565 at 200 signature, but if you want something to slay within about 50 hits, this guy is not for you unless you have Suicide Masteries. And as well, if you're going up against the likes of buffed up champions, as you can see here, if the uh, champion goes up against something like a, a Cosmic, you're going to get some nice effects. Uh, but if you go up against anything else, and yeah, you'll get some nice effects as well, but it won't be as potent, especially, you know, I'm giving you a good example, going up against Venom in uh, 5.3.6, I want to say, or is it, f yeah, so I think it's, that's, that's the quest, that's the fun one, uh, we'll pro probably put the, that footage on screen in a moment for you to check out, but it, it's, it's a good champion. One of my favourite bits of rotations was throwing SP2s, and especially against a Captain Marvel, it was nice to go like, right, I'll throw an SP2, I consume one of the power charges, and I generate a Fury buff, increasing my rate, obviously, and as well, throwing off some nice incinerate damage, which was like, is really cool to do. If you are working well with the ability for on knockdown, where you get the unblockable, you can have some really nice chaining damage. And at one point, I was uh, I was throwing like a really substantial amount of damage together. It's really good as well to stack double SP2s, gather those fury buffs, and then as well trigger off the heavy attack ability, which again I, I quite liked. It was very rewarding to do that on hit, remove any incinerate on the opponent, each dealing a burst of. 1173 energy damage if six or more incinerates are removed this damage is increased by 50 percent and i think on the last hit and i don't know if that scaled with the fury buffs that i was throwing about 36k of uh, of incinerate damage in a very big burst which is like I know that some people may look at this and maybe there will be the people kind of go oh you know this is maybe a defensive champion because of elements of uh, unblockable Maybe it's elements of, of extensive power gain, interaction and stuff like that. But I thought it was alright. It's a relatively fun champion. It, I don't think this would be a champion that would go immediately into my roster. But I've definitely seen some viability for going up against the likes of Variant 5. Now one disappointing thing about the, uh, <laughs> as you can see, the content creator beta is that uh, I'm, I've only got Samurai's Journey as the previous event quest, which is annoying because it's not the modern stuff. And as well, back issues. I don't have back issues five because I really wanted to test about the idea of going up against the Venom. Also, the extent of, yes, champions that are a mystic and get those kind of boosts. Uh, so, yeah, like just try and like, balance it out a little bit. But unfortunately, it is not to be the case and we can't get that full dissection. Now there is a cool little mechanic which you've probably seen on screen but I'll maybe like throw something up here called cornered so when you get the enemy against the wall that they take some kind of physical damage and that's all well and good but you just have to know if, you, if you're all about that then a four hit combo will suffice if you do a five hit combo you're going to leave yourself exposed better if you are chaining with the upon um uh, the opponent knocked down so if you're able to do that and as well maximize damage of the champion up against the wall then you'll do pretty well to kind of ramp it up and that's what we were trying to do is this may be one of the champions for me as a lot of you know i'm a bit of a brawler i like aggressive play so it speaks well to my playing style but it's the concern of like any future utility there's no power control as a mystic there's very little when it comes to interaction with the slow debuff like you can see here the final hit inflicts a non-stacking slow for eight seconds i want to try it about with some exper experimentation against uh 6.2.6 boss i didn't find the rotation was that good those eight seconds in my opinion largely need to be up to about 15 seconds to really work well with any other unstoppable but if there's anything like a juggernaut then i'd say that this is a good counter for that I think more so if the Juggernaut had like a Fury buff. Unfortunately with the Champion fight as well, because it's not a Cosmic, it is like this uh, weird class, the Elder class or whatever class it's meant to be, Boss class. It does mean the interaction is not there for the, uh, the Signature ability. But a standard Champion would be uh, you know, countered very easily with this particular one. 
And one thing I forgot to mention was the Ineptitude debuff, which boasts the reducing of potency of new Fury, Armor Up, Precision, and Cruelty buffs by 75% for 30 seconds. Now, if any enemy has got something like uh, Ability Accuracy Boosters on, and you know it's difficult to Ability Accuracy reduce, it could be a case that it doesn't really work as well. I've definitely seen circumstances where it hasn't been as potent as maybe it should be, but it seems to promise something good enough it's just a case of like if you're interacting with a champion that would have fury armor up and precision and cruelty largely that would be either a cosmic or anything else and triggering off the signature ability that's kind of cool but as well uh, linking together with good counters for the likes of anything that's got those uh, those particular buffs do mean that this could be a relatively good option for a lot of players and a lot of people it's just the utility side of things when it comes to like power control, uh, other things that associated with mystics like stagger, slow debuff lasting for a lot longer. It isn't really there. I think the biggest concern I see for this champion is the usage in Alliance Wars defense. If you have got properties where if you're right at the very back, you're cornered and you're taking physical damage, even being hit through the block, it is going to be painful. The same way that it would be for the likes of uh, of being knocked down if you get knocked down then the enemy is going to hit at you the dragon man enemy is going to hit at you with uh, unblockable and that's that's not going to be helpful you're going to have to constantly have your evade game on which is still going to be minimized by the extent of uh, yeah this champion uh, having unblockable even worse if then it then changes into things like special attack so throw a special and then it's unblockable and you could find yourself like really stuck as a counter and that's the thing i would say that uh, the likes of uh, red guardian would be some cool counters to this so i would like to kind of i really want to get red guardian it's just one of those champions that elude my clutches but in any case like i said damage yeah it's pretty good there's some fun if you if you're good at the cycling through in the rotation of those sp2s and especially with the right pair up the right matchup and utilization of signature ability then you'll see some fun interactions and like i said this will be good for variant 5 i'd love to use one of these in variant 5 it's just a shame that we're unable to test that but uh yeah it's got the right properties to actually uh do the business and do the job so yeah would like to see that in the future. There we go. That has been the video. Thank you very much for watching. Check out some new content up there. Check out some other content down there. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.